Is Bloodstrike really going to die? Buckle up because today, we're going to talk about something we all don't want to talk about. First off, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the player base. It's no secret that Bloodstrike doesn't have a huge community compared to those big popular titles out there. In fact, the player base is already pretty small, and trust me, it's only going to shrink more over time. You see this pattern with every game that's ever been made. No matter how big a game starts out, its player base eventually declines as time passes. But here's the catch, Bloodstrike isn't even competing at the same level as those major games that still have millions of players. Think about games like PUBG Mobile or Call of Duty Mobile, their player base has decreased over the years too, but those games had huge communities to begin with. They had millions of players, and even when the numbers dropped, they still had enough players to keep things alive. But Bloodstrike? It never had that kind of popularity. And now, with its already small player base, it's heading toward an even steeper decline. We're not talking about a game that's slowly losing players over a decade. No. We're talking about a game that's barely hanging on right now, and it's about to get a lot worse. And if you think Mid-Ease Games is gonna do something about it, well, don't hold your breath. Let's not forget Netease's history here. These guys have destroyed other unique games they've created in the past. Do you guys remember Cyber Hunter? It had potential, it had uniqueness, and where is it now? Yeah, it's practically dead. And let's not forget rules of survival. Once upon a time, that was a big deal, and now? Ghost Town. The point is, that NetEase Games has a track record of creating games that show promise, and then they completely mismanage them. They either abandon them or fail to support them properly. They don't innovate, they copy-paste whatever's working for other popular games, hoping to ride that wave. And that's exactly what's happening with Bloodstrike. Think about it. Everything in Bloodstrike feels like a recycled version of something you've already seen. The movement, the shooting mechanics, even the abilities, they're all bits and pieces from other games. It's like NetEase just grabbed a bunch of popular features from Apex Legends and Call of Duty Warzone and threw them all together, hoping nobody would notice. But let's be honest, we all noticed. The only reason people are still playing Bloodstrike right now is because, well, we don't have a lot of other choices. Remember Apex Legends Mobile? Oh man, that game could have been amazing, but it's gone now. And Warzone Mobile? Well, here's the thing. People are saying that Warzone Mobile has more downloads than Bloodstrike because it was hyped up a lot before release. Yeah, it's true, it got tons of downloads in the beginning, but here's the catch, the actual player base is dropping fast. A lot of people downloaded it, tried it, and then quickly bailed after getting a not so great experience. Sure, it still has downloads, but the active players? Super low. Believe it or not, Warzone Mobile is seeing its player base decrease even faster than Bloodstrike. Yeah, you heard me right. That's how bad things are getting in the mobile gaming scene right now. And Bloodstrike is just barely hanging on, riding this wave of people who don't have better options. But let me tell you, that won't last long. Do you know why? Because there are some big titles on the horizon that are going to absolutely crush Bloodstrike. You all know what I'm talking about. Valorant Mobile is coming. It's not a matter of if, but when. And when it drops. Well, say goodbye to a big chunk of Bloodstrike players. We're also hearing rumors about Epic Game Store making moves on mobile, which could mean Fortnite coming back to mobile devices. Not just that, we already have Steam on mobile, which means there's going to be a flood of new games entering the scene. And when that happens, Bloodstrike won't stand a chance. It's only a matter of time. Bloodstrike will die, and it'll be just another failed game in Netiza's collection. Look, I'm not saying this because I hate the game, I love it. I'm playing it right now because I'm having fun, but I'm also being realistic. In the future, when the player base dies, when there are no more updates, and the servers are deserted, I'll have to move on to another game. And it's not just me. Every single one of us will move on, because that's what gamers do. 
We don't stick to one game forever. We try out the new stuff, we explore new worlds, and we leave the old ones behind. This has happened before. Cyber Hunter, Rules of Survival, Creative Destruction, they were fun while they lasted, but they're dead now. And Bloodstrike will join them soon. It's inevitable. But for now, while the game is still alive, let's enjoy it. Let's have fun with the time we have left. But don't be surprised when, one day, the servers are empty, the lobbies are dead, and we have no choice but to uninstall and move on. So, to all of you asking, will I stop playing Bloodstrike? Not yet. I'm having fun right now, and I'll keep playing for as long as the game lasts. But when the time comes, when Bloodstrike breathes its last breath, I'll move on, just like everyone else. And that's the sad truth. Bloodstrike will die, and that's something we all have to accept. It won't survive the next wave of mobile games, and when it falls, it'll just be another forgotten title from NetEase. But until then, let's keep playing and enjoy the ride. And hey, if you're still here, thank you for watching till the end. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Until next time. Peace out.